Hi again, it's Tim, your Living Sky Guy from the Paris of the Prairies, beautiful Saskatoon. And I'm standing by a very busy and noisy highway because today I want to talk about a very busy but not so noisy highway in space. And that highway I'm talking about today is the ecliptic. Now you might have heard the term ecliptic but not really sure what it meant. Well, that's what I'm talking about today. In its simplest terms, the ecliptic is the path that the Earth takes in its orbit around the sun. Every 364 and a quarter days, we make a full orbit around the sun along that ecliptic plane. Now, the ecliptic's useful for a number of things. First off, helping us to understand the changes of the seasons. The ecliptic, if you break it into quadrants, every 90 degrees of our orbit is either a solstice or an equinox when we're changing from winter to spring to summer to fall. All that happens based on our position all along the ecliptic. That's why the time and date of the changes of the seasons isn't exactly the same every year because it depends on where we are in that orbital rotation. Now, the other thing about the ecliptic is that's where, of course, the sun. The sun is always traveling along that ecliptic plane because it's part of that same plane. The other thing is the ecliptic is a great way of watching the changes in the night sky. Every month, if you go out and take a look at the night sky along the ecliptic plane, if you go at the same time every month, you're going to see a different constellation front and center in that sky. There are 13 constellations that make up the zodiacal constellations, which are the constellations that travel along the ecliptic plane. Twelve of those are the ones that astrologers use for astrology, obviously. So when we take a look as the year progresses, we see a shift as we move through those different constellations. The other way to use the ecliptic is if you're looking for planets. The planets, we've got nine planets in our solar system. Yes, I do still think that Pluto's a planet. Now those planets, although they have their own individual and unique orbits, the orbits have a tendency of being on a fairly similar plane. If you think of our solar system essentially as a record platter and that gap between the songs are the different planets' orbits. Now, they're not exactly on the same plane. Some are, are tilting at a little bit of an angle. Some the angles more, uh, more pronounced than others. But what you will find is as they're orbiting around the sun and they're passing along the ecliptic, we're seeing them sort of wobbling along that ecliptic plane. For example, if you go out to the night sky right now at about 3 o'clock in the morning, if it's clear, you're going to see four naked eye visible planets in the sky. You're going to see in the northeastern horizon that beautiful bright jewel of Venus. And then when you come out to about the southeastern horizon, you're going to see the red planet Mars. And then heading down towards the southwest, you're going to see Saturn and then that really bright Jupiter besides it. So those four planets are all visible this summer at the same time in those early morning hours. When you connect the four of them together, you're going to see they're going to connect in a nice arc. That arc is the ecliptic because they're traveling and wobbling along that ecliptic plane. So when you're looking for planets, definitely the ecliptic is your guidepost. Now the beauty of the ecliptic is it's the one superhighway where we're moving at thousands and thousands of miles an hour that you don't have to have your hand on the wheel. You don't have to worry about distracted driving. You can sit back and enjoy the wonders and the beauty of it because everyone on that highway is so far apart, we're not going to smack into each other. So take some time, get out under the night sky, look for those planets, look for those constellations, and look for the beauty of our place in the universe along the ecliptic. If you want to continue on this voyage of discovery with me, please click on the subscribe button. And you can also follow my personal exploits on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Just search for Living Sky Guy. Clear skies, everyone.